Hello to my Taurus. Taurus, we are in this last quarter moon phase of this full flower moon cycle. Okay, so let's see how you're blossoming and blooming. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. All right, let's get into it, Taurus. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's go. All right, let's go. All right, all right, all right, Taurus. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm talking to you wherever Taurus is in your birth chart. All right, so here we have Nine of Swords, Three of Cups. Here we also have the Queen of Swords. Here we have the uh, Four of Wands, Seven of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. All right, so somebody is waking up from a nightmare. Here we have the Nine of Swords here. We have the Three of Cups, and you're grateful. You're grateful that you're finally waking up from something, and you're carefully vetting your thoughts to the Queen of Swords. We have the Four of Wands here. We have the Seven of Wands here, and we also have the Seven of Pentacles. But something is definitely setting somebody on the path to getting your root all the way up to your crown chakras aligned, right? And you're just grateful. You're just grateful. You know, what's interesting is that um, now that Pluto is currently retrograde, that, uh, that Pluto has been retrograde since May 2nd. It'll be retrograde until October 11th. And that uh, Pluto is the outermost planet. It's a generational planet. And it's the planet of um, rebirth. It's the planet of... Uh, metamorphosis is um power transformation but it's also the planet of obsessions and looking at the nine of swords you know the somebody uh has awakened to their power you know your power in your intellect somebody is definitely awakened from a nightmare and has awakened to just how smart you are how powerful you really are and just like the power of your sword right and just the power of just like how you could have cut things off a long time ago. Like somebody could awaken from a nightmare a long time ago by just like walking away, by just like cutting certain people out of your life, by stop talking about certain things, like invoking some kind of thought. Just kept, you know how like in scary movies, you know, you just keep, in, keep talking about something over and over and over again. It just kept just reliving a nightmare. You could have told people around you, stop talking about something. He's, you know, invoking a nightmare. And so somebody is now learning like on your, th your throne, your thoughts are creating your reality. So you would rather um, uh, replace those negative thoughts with something positive, right? So that's what somebody is learning how to do. It's just like, it's not your responsibility to hold other people's insecurities, their feelings of low self-worth. It's not your, it's not your responsibility to hold that, right? And so that's what somebody is saying. Okay, you're ready for a new and exuberant love, which is coming across your path. But you can also defend your decision to never go back to being connected to people who are narcissistic, you know, energies that are, um, who have feelings of low self-worth, people who, you know, it's just confusing to you. You know, you can't even, it's like you can't, you can't pour enough water on it to keep putting that flame out. You just like, it just, it's just confusing, right? So I definitely feel like somebody is now taking the time to just balance things out for yourself from your root all the way up to your crown chakra. And, um, and so something is complete. You're not giving it any more time whatsoever. You're not even asking why anymore. You're just taking some time to just relax and just chill out. If you're not on a beach somewhere, which would be nice if you are, but if you're not on a beach, somebody could be listening to some tropical sounds, maybe on YouTube, hint, hint. But uh, yeah, you learn how to, you know, heal yourself, you know, so somebody could be getting away from a, a, a Leo, somebody could be connected, some Leo could play some kind of role in something where somebody is just like, you know, getting away from somebody who has an inability to control their passion, whatever it is, some kind of toxic, you know, whatever it is. But um, I definitely feel like somebody got away from something. Here we have the eight of pentacles here. So you're not even giving it any more time. You used to spend a lot of time trying to you know, trying to put out people's fires or make them feel better or answer questions or, you know, kind of calm people's, you know, insecurities down. But somebody just feels like, thank God you're away from something. Here we have the um, uh, um, eight of pentacles here, but not anymore. So you spend less and less time and you're doing more pouring into yourself. So kudos and congratulations to you for that. Here we also have the ace of pentacles here. So yeah, so some new partnerships are coming your way as a result of that, right? Some new partnerships are coming across your way as a result of that. So 
Now somebody is thinking like, and, and, and again, you've learned how to master your spirit self. This is, this is the upside of the strength card. It's like you met, learn how to master your spirit self. And so, um, you are, um, a self healer of sorts. You learn how you say you've awakened from a nightmare, just like, okay, something was just a nightmare for you. And now somebody is thinking like who you want to build your legacy with. And certainly not somebody who, whether it's a business legacy or love interest legacy, you definitely don't want to build a legacy with somebody who just can't control their rage, their anger, their hot one minute, uh, cold the next. It's just all over the place. It's like, like I said, you're just moving through a rite of passage. You're moving through a rite of passage. So good for you. Good for you. Good for you. I'm glad. I'm happy for somebody. So yeah. You feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. So good for you. Like I said, you can defend your decision to never go back. There's a seven of wands here. Seven is the number for completion. And um, somebody's just in a better headspace, you know, just knowing that you're moving through a, a rite of passion, just moving on to calmer waters, just trying to get, you know, set your earth sign and the earth number for earth is four, right? So you're saying, okay, I'm getting stable on all fours, you know, like now I'm just getting, um, you know, and when I say four, I'm talking about earth, water, air, and fire, like all four elements. You're getting grounded, all four elements. You're trying to get grounded on your throne in all elements of your life, right? Your spirit connecting you, that divinity within you, connecting all of your elements, trying to get, so your, your mind is clear. You're sitting on your throne and here we have, and then here we go, right? Now you're sitting on your throne of your fire. So you, you're inspiring a whole lot of people. You're motivating a lot of people. Here we also have the page of cups. You got some good news coming across your path, which is a good thing. Energies from your past are trying to pull you back, you know, just through past memory. You're saying, there's no way I'm going back there. Here we have the ace of wands. Your third eye is wide open. So it's the same. You're staying as far away. I mean, it's like every time you think about where you come from and just being in wilderness situations, you're like, mm -mm, no way. You ready for some good news to come across your path. And the good news, first and foremost, is that you've awakened from a nightmare. That's the first good news is that you wait awaken from a nightmare and you're staying as far away from it as fast as you can. Here we have the hangman. So you're just hanging in there with yourselves, right? And just relaxing, you know, just keeping yourselves busy, just keeping yourself busy. Here we also have the hermit card. So somebody may be in hermit mode. Hermit card connects us with, you know, really just like analyzing yourself, like kind of like you pull out a spreadsheet and just analyzing, just kind of like, let me look at myself. Like, let me just analyze, you know, um, a portal is now open. So your, your, your uh, spiritual gifts have actually increased at this point. Because now you're saying, now that I'm awakened from a nightmare, let me go back in my mind and see what I've missed. Like, how did I miss something, right? Remember, this, all of this uh, pentacles is not just money, right? It deals with the physical aspect of things, including your health. What is it about your health? What kind of energy were you sending out, like about your physical health and your mental health? Like what kind of energy did you send out in terms of like how you think? What did you say, you know, out of your mouth that could have sent out some kind of message? Um, did you tell people that you have a whole lot of money? Did you tell people that you have access to a whole lot of money? Did you, were you speaking something like, were you trying to speak something into existence? See money, this, uh, pentacles right here is, um, your home life, your generosity, your wealth, your, uh, practicality, your health. Like, were you telling people, you know, that you come from a whole lot of money or do you have access to a whole lot of money that would have put you in, you know, predatory situations? Like, did you create a nightmare for yourself, you know, in a sense, you know, so source is saying to you, somebody is learning how to learn how to keep some things close to the cuff, you know, in terms of just like, so that you're not putting yourself in predatory situations, you know, um, and so you just feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders and you're just staying away from, you know, inspiring people to pray on. It's like, you're not trying to add to people praying on, you know, you in that, in that regard, in that sense, you know, so you're staying away from, you know, staying away from that. Here we also have the two of wands right here. So you have the whole world in front of you and you have a lot of opportunities coming your way. See how this person has 
right here, the world in their hands. It's like a person is about to start traveling, you know, doing a whole lot of things moving forward. Here we also have the Queen of Cups. So, see, you're just going to, you're on your throne in all four elements. Like I said, you're getting set up. You're the, Earth is the, is, uh, uh, number four connects us with the element of the earth, right? So you're getting set up on all fours. And there, right there in the middle is that divinity. So Pluto is getting everybody like balanced out. It's restoring balance to Mother Earth is what Pluto is doing. So here we have the Queen of Cups. And so you're showing yourself some compassion. You're pouring into yourself. You're getting relaxed. And you're showing yourself some compassion, right? So this is a good thing. Really, really, really good thing, right? And so you're you're in a posture of gratitude, just getting your just nursing yourself to some health, which is a good thing. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we got going on here. Somebody's not gonna be so open with their information and just telling people all kinds of stuff. Um, <clears throat> putting yourself in situations that will isolate you from, you know, help, you know, in a sense. Um, let's see what else we got. This Queen of Wands here. So there you are on your throne. So I definitely feel like somebody has somebody who really kind of sort of encouraged you to keep a high vibrational attitude about some things, your attitude determining your altitude. Here we also have the Ace of Wands. Somebody definitely encouraged you to open up, you know, encourage you, your third eye to open up, like, you know, to pay attention to your surroundings, right? So here we have, um, and there's some energies that want to reach out to you. But you're in a posture of gratitude, um, seven, eight, nine, now that you're in the light about some things, right? So there's definitely some energies that want to reach out to you and you definitely not going backwards. You're back in the saddle again. You're in great spirits. Like I said, you're back in the saddle again. You're in great spirits. So good for you. In other words, somebody is definitely not going back to a situation. Like some things are trying to tempt you to vibrate on a lower frequency, but don't do it. Keep your vibrations high. You're actually, source is leading you to sacred relationships. You know, just sacred bonds, a whole different type of energy. Here we have the wheel of fortune here. You're going to feel so fortunate. Like, whereas before somebody uh, may have... The temptation comes in is like, when we're talking about like in your minor arcana, Taurus... Like the temptation comes in the devil, right? It comes in the form of a serpent, a snake, right? And so you may be tempted to kind of sort of go back to saying some things that you said to prove. Let me give somebody an example. Let's say, for instance, you know how people, when they break up with somebody, they try to prove to people that, hey, look, my new person is better than my ex online, for instance, right? So they may put, you know, images or whatever on a new person. And they're smiling all extra hard. Everything is extra funny online, <laughs> you know, doing all this extra stuff with their new person online, right? But I think a lot of people are learning how to protect the sanctity of their relationships by keeping all of that stuff offline because it is the World Wide Web, right? And that is a portal that people can attack people through that portal, and so, and people can pray, see all this fire right here. People can pray on that just through that portal, send that negative energy, you know, through that. So whether you believe in that kind of stuff or don't believe in that kind of stuff, you do want to protect. Somebody is saying that they want to be in these sacred relationships. Seven and three is 10. You want to be in a 10 of cups. You want to be in relationships where somebody is not deeming your person or you, your person is out and if somebody approaches your person, they looking to see where they work and who they know and see if, the, if they know the people, the same people that they know and being messy and that kind of stuff. You're trying to protect the sanctity of your relationships. Um, and so trying to protect your peace and those kind of things. You do have a lot of people out here that's just doing all kinds of just weird stuff. So I feel like that's what somebody is learning how to do. And, um, and um, just protecting those relationships. Some people, like I said before, everybody is being guided to sacred relationships while karmic relationships are being broken. And that's what Pluto is doing, you know, in the, uh, that's what Pluto is doing. Pluto retrograde is doing. And, and some people, like I said, like the book, Who Moved My Cheese, some people are going to feel good about it. Some people are not going to feel good about it. So, but it's happening. You're moving on to, see this right here? There's not a whole bunch of splashing water. You're moving on to karma waters. And you have an ancestor that's help, that's helping you to do that. So congratulations. It's you and somebody that's moving on to calmer waters. Now that everybody's awakened from some kind of um, nightmare, you're closing out cycles. Closing out cycles in love. Let me just add that. Learning how to create very firm boundaries and, um, and moving forward. Here we have the nine of cups and your wishes are being fulfilled. 
That's right. Your wishes are being fulfilled, right? Like I said, you're moving on to sacred relationships. I keep trying to tell people that everything is not for social media consumption. Even if um even if you're just joking on social media, you'd be surprised at what people will um you'd be surprised at what people will try to use against you, even if you're joking on social media. People will try to use things against you. You know, if you have a person who has a great sense of humor, people will try to use that, you know, against people on social media. You know, like comedians back in the day, they would tell jokes and stuff online. People will assume they were talking about themselves. People assume that every reader is talking about themselves. People assume that songwriters are talking about their own relationships. Like you're trying to create. People assume whatever they want to assume. So um, what people are trying to create and help other people. So sources saying you're a prayer warrior. You you actually inspire. This is why you see so much fire here. Fire um, can be used as light and dark side to all energy. And I, and looking at your cards, you inspire a lot of people. Somebody has a great attitude um, and your attitude actually determines your altitude. Meaning a lot of people look up to you. A lot of people are inspired and motivated by you, uh, Taurus, in your workplace. Just pay attention, like pay attention to how many people, if you go into the office, people come to you, they want to be around you. You have a great attitude, but then again, you got some of those people who are looking at you like, with blaring red eyeballs. They got an issue with everything. They hating and whatever the case may be. You're not motivated by those people because those people too, Taurus, they are also inspired by you. They just are confused. They're like, okay, hmm, why so many people are attracted to Taurus? You know, they want to get close to you. They just don't know how to, like I said before, like I said, they're inspired too. Don't even get them that energy just because that'll take care of itself. Let's see what else we got. And we're going to, um, I, I think that's, hold on. We got a few more. Let me get a few more cards. Here are the questions for the moon and Pisces, and we're going to go ahead and close this out. First question is, could you keep opening up and breaking through the walls of protection and defense to heal your deepest wounds with love? The second question is, could you immerse yourself in gentleness and compassion in order to receive and channel true love? The third question is, could you become more connected to your universal and unconditional love? The fourth question is, can you create healthy boundaries so that you don't take on others' energy? And then last but not least is, do you clean and replace? Replenish your energy daily. That's right. That would be your moon sign, right? So get very intimate with your birth chart. Your sun sign, you already know that. So if you're watching this video, I assume your sun sign is Taurus. But I'm also talking to you if you wherever Taurus is in your birth chart. Not just your sun sign. So wherever Taurus is in your birth chart. And then find out what your moon sign is. So if you're watching this video, some of you all's moon sign is Taurus as well. So wherever Taurus is in your birth chart. But whatever your moon sign is, go to Google. All of this is free. Go to Google and type in how to nurture whatever your moon sign for your gender. There are like just bullet points and just, you know, some of those things like invest in yourself, pour into you. So when you're dealing with people, when you're dealing with energies that you they're inspired by you, but they have this confused love also known as hate. <laughs> You know, that's like, okay, I'm not, you're not motivated by that. It's like, okay, you're motivated by source inside of you. That's where that fire shut up in your bones. You're like, okay, I'm still, I'm focusing on the ones that motivate me, not the ones that hate, you know, they off somewhere else. That situation will take care of itself. So source is saying, you know, you're learning how to close out cycles and stay focused, stay locked in and laser focused. So here we have the magician power, the car, you're learning how to take your power back. So there it is. Take your power back. Here we go. Here we have the magician card. This is where you're not confused in your thinking. You're staying focused. Um, you're getting away. Here we have the um, two of pentacles. You and somebody, this two of pentacles right here, um, two and three of pentacles. Y'all learning how to stay away. You learning how to keep people out of your vault door. You're keeping people out of your vault door while you're building a very rich legacy together. You're keeping people out of your vault. Keep people out of your vault. Keep people out of your vault. Keep people out of your vault. Ah, ah. Keep people out of your vault. Ow. Oh. Keep people out of your vault, vault, vault. <laughs> but yeah, so we got the Ten of Pentacles here. 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 So this is generational and the Ace of Pentacles here. So like I said before, you got partnerships coming across your path. Learn how to keep people out of your vault. You'll feel a lot stronger. Here we have the Ace 
I mean, uh, the page of pentacles here and somebody's going to start feeling a lot stronger. You're going to feel a lot stronger when you're able to keep people out of your vault door. Everybody should not have access to all parts of you. It should be earned to get to your throne. There's levels to it to get to your throne. Let people assume what they want to assume about you. You're going to feel very fortunate. Wheel of fortune. You and somebody are going to feel very fortunate. So some cycles are closed out. Some curses are broken. You know, whatever somebody was trying to put on you, like I said, they're broken. Um, and um, a lot of things are being exposed. A lot of times people will try to bring gossip to you. They'll try to bring all kinds of stuff to you that's, that they somebody said this and somebody said that. Somebody say people ain't say anything. It's third party information. If you ain't hear from somebody else's mouth, they ain't say it to you, whatever. Don't believe none of that. Don't believe the hype. So it's just saying to you, um, you got you got one, two, three, four. Four generations of wealth, that you, a wealth of knowledge, wisdom, all this circulation of wealth that you're passing down through your bloodline and you're telling, you're teaching people in a very positive way that they inspire and motivate people, even including the ones who don't understand people. Stay focused, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. So you're moving on from some things, moving on from, you know, some things that your head and heart used to be at war with each other, but it's not. There it is. Boom. There it is. Keep moving forward. There it is. So there were signs all around you. It's time to do a third eye chakra cleanse. Trust your first mind. Some energies are just trying to control the way you think. Here we have don't return their call. One yes from God is all you need. And that is the absolute truth. It's a guy who apologizes for betraying you. But they're planning to disrupt your money. Backfire. Somebody never stopped loving you. Whoever this guy was, he never stopped loving you. Um, it could have been a male, uh, it could be somebody's ex love interest. It could have been somebody's brother who betrayed you. It could have been somebody's dad who, somebody, somebody betrayed somebody. But so here we have message from your ancestors. They're saying pour more into yourself. Somebody has a demon of pride. So somebody wants the best for you. Um, the angel of prophecy and wisdom is with you. Somebody secretly has a crush on you. Your, your, your new home awaits and somebody has a demon of lust, not you, but somebody from your you know, your past. And so it's time to heal your wounded healer. That would be your Chiron, C-H-I-R-O-N. The link below in the de description is for Chiron. Go check it out. Yeah. And so again, keep on moving forward. Keep on moving forward. Keep on moving forward. Keep on moving forward. Yes. Yeah, somebody, um, somebody definitely has, um, um, It's going to feel very fortunate, I'm going to feel very, very fortunate to have been able to just move on and take your power back. And um, you're just hanging in there with yourselves. You're just really trying to hang in there with yourselves. But it could have been an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius in somebody's life that, you know, could have played some role. There could have been some jealousy, some narcissism involved. It could have been something could have done something to disrupt your money in some way, shape, form or fashion. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, like I said before, it, 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 it didn't work. That's all I would say. It, it, something could have caused a whole bunch of chaos and confusion, but it just didn't work. So it's saying close out the cycle, move on. You get the third eye is wide open. Um, you're not confused anymore. Life is, you know, life is actually getting better for you for real. I mean, you look at it, life is getting better. And you got new partnerships coming across your path. So with the enemy meant for evil, Hey, y'all know the rest, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> so that's what I have for you all. Um, let me see if we got anything else here. Oh, let's, let's get a number. Let's get a number and a few Oracle cards. And we're going to go ahead and close this out. We're going to go ahead and close this out. Yeah. Number eight, I am successful. There it is, right? So number eight. And remember this eight right here is also not only the money, uh, uh, money exchange number, it's also the karmic number, right? So karmic ties are being broken while, um, while, um, while, um, other relationships are coming together while sacred relationships are coming together. So your talent for setting and reaching goals are like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving am your ambitions. Eight representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. I am successful. So yeah, there it is. Continue being successful. You'd be surprised at how many people believe gossip about other people. I'm telling you, Taurus, people, they will believe gossip about something 
based on what they heard versus the truth that comes directly from God. That's why Source is saying, if you're a prayer warrior, go directly to God first. God, show me what the truth is before I just believe something that I heard from somebody and I don't know because I don't want to get distracted. I, this is where, when we talk about your mission here on planet Earth, Source is saying, somebody going to start... Mm, mm, mm. So yeah, when I look at your cards here, you got a lot of you got a lot. Somebody's awakening from a um, awakening from a nightmare and just grateful. You just grateful that you're awakening from a nightmare. So um, yeah, stay focused. The energy is gaining momentum, and so the energy gaining momentum could just really mean a whole lot of things. It's just like you are just like I said, you know, um, um gaining getting stronger every single day see all of this fire here this speaks to your solar plexus chakra right taurus so that means like okay you know maybe stay in the gym if you can do your your uh core strengthening yoga core strengthening um pilates core strengthening exercises anything like you're walking anything that's strengthening your core where you feel stronger right there in the course if i can do this i can do it i can do it like right moving from your core strength investing in yourself circulating your health we talk about because pentacles is also connects us to our health anything that's you know connecting to your core i can do this i can keep on moving forward that kind of energy and not and you know going backwards into you know just lying around and just feeling helpless and oh you know you know, because something is trying to pull you backwards. Nope, you can keep on doing it. You can keep on moving forward like the little engine that could. <laughs> yeah, so that's what, I have. that's what I have for you all. Like I said, keep on moving forward. Just like this card says, keep on moving forward. And I see you doing that. So that is what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next video. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.